¡Hola! En la lección anterior, aprendimos a identificar el uso de los cognados de un texto. ¿Se acuerdan? Los cognados son las palabras que se pronuncian de manera similar y se escriben casi igual que el español. ¡Miren esto! It has a small rounded ears, short thick fur, and short legs. Mm. The sacatuche is also known to be one of the few types of mm -hmm. rabbit capable of emitting sounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the sacatuche is another victim of the loss of its habitat. Mm -hmm. This has put it on the endangered species list. Lesson 13. What do you know about seahorses? Redactarán un texto empleando las conjunciones and, but y or. Hola chicos. El día de hoy vamos a conocer algunos animales e identificaremos los pasos a seguir para escribir una composición. Vamos a ver. <risa> Good morning, Antonio. How are you? Uh, not too good, my dear. Hmm? Last night I had insomnia. Hmm. I couldn't sleep. Oh. I spent hmm. the whole night watching TV, hmm. and I found a very interesting documentary about animals. What kind of animals? Oh. Sea animals. Hmm. The documentary was about seahorses. Seahorses? Uh, yes, Cristal. Look, I found some pictures on the computer. They look amazing. Their heads are exactly like a horse. <laughs> But they are mythological. They are not real. <laughs> no, Cristal. Seahorses are very real. But they look like a fantasy. Seahorses are half horse and half fish. Seahorses are a type of fish. They have no teeth or tongue and no stomach. So food passes through their digestive systems very quickly and they must eat constantly to stay alive. <laughs> Just like Mickey. He eats constantly or he starts to complain. I don't think he has a stomach. One day, he ate two pizzas And four delicious flans all by himself. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hi, Miguel. We are talking about seahorses and what they eat. What do seahorses eat? <laughs> They're not like you. They don't eat pizzas or delicious flans. I love pizzas and delicious flans. I like my pizzas with pepperoni and onions and lots of cheese. But I don't like bacon or mushrooms. What do seahorses eat, Antonio? Mm, uh, seahorses are not very big, but they mm -hmm. use their long nose to suck in plankton mm. or small crustaceans from the sea around them. How big are the seahorses? Mm, it depends on the species. Mm -hmm. Some species are two centimeters long, mm -hmm. and the biggest species are up to 30 centimeters long. Mm -hmm. That is very small. That is only as big as this ruler. Incredible! Where do they live? Uh, they live in tropical and warm waters near the coastline. Mm -hmm. They prefer coral reefs or mangroves. Mm. But it's not easy to observe them mm. because they hide in the sea grass and they mm. change colors for camouflage. Mm. What do you find most interesting about seahorses, Antonio? 
Mm -hmm. Well, uh, hmm. the most impressive fact is that the male mm -hmm. seahorses have a small fertilizing bag in front, mm -hmm. and the female uses it to mm -hmm. deposit her eggs. And the male fertilizes them internally. Mm -hmm. Incredible! I can't believe it! The male seahorses have the babies. Mm -hmm. Animals are very interesting. I know! We have to write an article about an animal for science class. The teacher wants me to write my composition about kangaroos or koalas. Wow! That's a coincidence, Crystal. I have to write an article for the school magazine about an Australian animal. That's right! It is a coincidence. Kangaroos and koalas are from Australia. We can work together, but I don't know how to begin. Uh, Jimena is always writing articles about astronomy. You should ask her how to write a composition. <laughs> That's a great idea, Antonio. Come on, Cristal. Let's find Jimena. Okay, Nikki. Let's get help. Thank you, Antonio. See you later. Mm. Do you know where Jimena is? Jimena is at the radio station or in the garden. <laughs> later, she's going to the market, but she's coming home in an hour. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. Let's go, Cristal. You go to the radio station, and I'll look for Jimena in the garden. Okay, Nikki. I look for her at the radio station. Goodbye, Antonio. Mm. Goodbye. Show me your compositions when you're finished. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in? Hi, Crystal. Come in. I'm looking for Jimena because I have to write a composition <laughs> about an animal from Australia and I need her help. Jimena is great because she writes many articles about astronomy. <laughs> She has some posted on the internet. What animals do you like, Cristal? I like kangaroos and koalas. <laughs> but I don't like snakes or crocodiles. <laughs> They're very creepy. And you, Sarasvati? What animals do you like? Um, I like elephants and tigers. <laughs> but I don't like cats and rats. <laughs> I like cats and dogs. I like pets in general. <laughs> but I don't like fish. Hey! Maybe we can take a poll from the Radio Rebelde audience mm. about which animals are cool. <laughs> That's a great idea, Cristal. We can upload articles and stories <laughs> with photos on the Radio Rebelde blog. Jimena? Mm -hmm. Jimena? Mm -hmm. Where is she? Mm. Hi, Cristal. Did you find Jimena? No, I didn't. She wasn't at the radio station. I wonder where she is. She must be at the market. Mm. Or she's having coffee and cookies with her friends. But I have very good news. Hero and Sarasvati are inventing a contest for Radio Rebelde. Mm. Look, there she is. Jimena! Jimena! Hi, Miguel. Hi, Cristal. Mm. I'm glad to see you. Help me with the groceries. Sure, Jimena. We can help you. We're glad to see you, too. We want you to help us with the project. What project? I have to write an article for the school magazine about an Australian animal. And I don't know how to start. And I have to write a composition about the kangaroo for science class. Can you help us? Sure, I can help you. Mm -hmm. I have some time right now. Let's start with Mickey. What animal are you going to write about? I am thinking about the goanna, but I prefer the crocodile. <laughs> it's not difficult. You have to investigate. Mm -hmm. You have to look for interesting mm. material on your subject. Mm -hmm. I know a lot about crocodiles. <laughs> they eat fish, birds, mammals, and occasionally smaller crocodiles. Mm -hmm. The larger species of crocodiles are very dangerous to humans. Crocodile leather can be made into goods such as wallets, belts, hats, and shoes. Mm -hmm. The young crocodiles live under their mother's protection for up to two years. Mm -hmm. Crocodiles have been around for more than 200 million years. Okay. Wait. Stop. 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 But I have a lot more information about crocodiles. Yes, I can see you have a lot of information. But an article has to be organized so that the reader understands the information. It is confusing, I know. What can I do? To write an article about animals, you need the following information. Mm -hmm. First, the name of the animal. Mm -hmm. Second, species of the animal. Mm -hmm. Third, mm -hmm. physical characteristics. Mm -hmm. Fourth, mm -hmm. what does it eat? Mm -hmm. Fifth, what are its daily activities? Mm -hmm. And sixth, 
a conclusion to your article. Ah. Let's see. Number one. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the animal? Mm -hmm. The name of the animal is the crocodile. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mickey. Now, number two. What is its species? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a reptile. Mm -hmm. And it's been around for 200 million years. Mm -hmm. What about number three? What are its physical characteristics? Mm -hmm. They look like armored tanks, and it has a huge mouth full of teeth. Mm -hmm. The crocs, as they are called in Australia, has smooth skin mm -hmm. on its belly and side. Mm -hmm. But its dorsal surface has scales and it's thick and rugged, providing some projection. Mm. How big is it? It measures about 5 meters, and it weighs about 900 kilos. Number 4. What does it eat? Mm, it eats fish, birds, mammals, and occasionally smaller crocodiles, mm -hmm. giraffes, lions, buffaloes, and sometimes humans. Wow! They are really dangerous! Sometimes they eat humans. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mickey. Now, number five. What are its daily activities? Mm -hmm. mm. The crocodile controls its body temperature by lying in the sun during the day mm -hmm. and cooling off with a midday swim in the river or a rest in the shade under a tree. Mm -hmm. Then, it spends the night mostly submerged in the muddy waters. Thank you, Jimena. You are very helpful. Wait! What about number six? What is your conclusion? Mm, well... The Australian crocodile is a magnificent prehistoric reptile and was probably around with the dinosaurs. It's a predator and attacks with great speed. It's best to admire them from a distance. Wow, Miguel! That's going to be a very good article. Congratulations! <laughs> chicos en la lección de hoy aprendimos lo siguiente what animals do you like cristal i like kangaroos and koalas but i don't like snakes or crocodiles they are very creepy and you sarasvati what animals do you like um i like elephants and tigers but i don't like cats and rats i like cats and dogs i like pets in general but i don't like fish hey Maybe we can take a poll from the Radio Rebelde audience mm. about which animals are cool. <laughs> That's a great idea, Cristal. En la lección de hoy, aprendimos a escribir artículos utilizando las conjunciones and, but y or. Estas son palabras que unen palabras y oraciones y señalan la relación que existe entre ellas. Se usa and para agregar información. Por ejemplo, The panda's coat is black and white. Se usa but para hablar de ideas o conceptos contrarios. In Australia, it's cold in summer, but it's warm in winter. Y se usa or para mencionar opciones. I like to eat hamburgers or hot dogs. Ven, usando las conjunciones and, but y or, el texto es más fluido. Esto es todo por hoy. Hasta la siguiente lección, chicos. Mm-hmm. <laughs>